Welcome back to the channel. So seven days to go. In a week's time, we'll all be getting very, very excited about France against the All Blacks. And in all honesty, the next eight weeks or so, I can't wait for it. It's going to be such a brilliant World Cup. It's going to be really exciting. And even I just think the interest around it is growing. And I kind of see that the most through the views and the interaction I get on the channel. And that has 100% been growing over the last few weeks. So thank you to those of you that have been here for a while. Those of you that are new as well, appreciate all of you. And if you can hit the like button on the video, but most importantly, if you can subscribe to the channel as well, uh, then that would be massively, massively beneficial. And it's something slightly different for you in today's video. Rather than giving you an opinion uh, as I do normally in, in the videos or assess something, analyse something, all that sort of stuff. I thought we'd talk about fantasy rugby. The World Cup have released their fantasy rugby game. The Six Nations do this regularly. It's really easy to play. It's quite a good laugh. So I thought maybe each week through the World Cup, just in terms of producing some slightly different content, then we can maybe have a video about my fantasy selections and there'll be a league as well that you can all uh, join and compete against me. So the code's here. I'm going to put it in the description down below anyway and I'll put a link and all that sort of thing. It's free to sign up to. You just have to sign up to Fantasy Rugby um, and then you get to play. You select your team each week. I'll talk you through kind of the basic laws get through all of this these are all the positions you need and then these are down below I had a look earlier how you collect points so points for playing a certain amount it seems low to me the amount of points you get only one for playing 60 minutes and two for 61 obviously try scorers are heavily rewarded what else have we got here uh, for each try assist nine that seems pretty high I think for a try assist given that could just be a pop pass to someone Obviously, conversions, you lose points for misconversions, penalties, blah, 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 blah. Uh, red cards, you get penalised for line-out steals, five. That's quite high. Interception, five. I guess that's kind of hard to judge who's going to get interceptions. And turnovers forced for each line break, seven. Line break assist, five. Line break assist, five. Jeez, that's just popping someone through a hole, isn't it? Interesting. Okay, so, and scrum one outright. All right, let's get straight into it. You guys can have a little look at that uh, yourself as well. You go to my team here, and then you have a chance to select your side. I'm going to go through this a number of different times before we get to the opening day. You basically have until the opening round one begins to select your team. Always a bit of tactics in this. You have... 100 points and you have to select 15 players and you can make as many changes as you want uh, between rounds or even if I selected a 15 now I could change it before the start of round one if that makes sense so let's get into it oh, I'm gonna start in the backs I think who do I want let's go with the outside backs you can select in the outside backs three uh, fullbacks if you wanted to I was gonna see if where's the Fijian Ravatumado he had a great game against England oh there he is put him in so he might be injured actually I think that might be what this the red background means we'll see we can always change it I thought he had a really good game starting against Wales I think Fiji will score tries let's stick with the outside backs for just a moment who's gonna score who's score I mean so you've obviously got Damian Penno as the most expensive that makes sense Mapimpi is the most expensive as well that's kind of interesting I wouldn't say he's guaranteed to start for the box Thomas Ramos is a really good selection actually because he will take the kicks, I think, for France and is a really reliable goal kicker. So maybe I'll try and get him in there. Van der Merwe, James Lowe. Only one point between Hansen and Lowe. Will Jordan. You've also got to consider what teams have. So Ireland have got Romania. I think Ireland will score tries. I'm going to go with Mac Hansen. I kind of like him. I might have to change Rava to Marder. I'll go with Mac Hansen because he's cheaper than James Lowe. It's like I love Damien Pennett. He's so good. And the same with Will Jordan, but I just look at that first game and we don't really know what kind of game we're going to get against such two good sides. Knowing whether the wingers will cross for, for a score is hard to know. And then I will go Talmos Ramos just because I know he he's going to take the kicks. So I quite like that as a selection. Uh, where, where should we go? Should we stick in the, stick in the backs? Go for the centres. Centres is difficult. Centres is really hard. I feel like it's hard to get points. I love Jonathan Dante. I saw a article this morning suggesting he might be injured though so I'm not sure about that uh who else have we got oh, England playing Argentina who's Scotland have got South Africa don't they because I like Hugh Jones and Tua Pilotti, but that's a pretty tough game um Samu Karevi Esther Hazen possibly oh no I'm not sure again I don't know where what South Africa are going to do with their centres 
Rico Ioani Gerfoot. Do you know what? I'm coming back to centres. I don't know where to go there. Let's go scrum halves. Oh, this is tough. So Antoine Dupont, understandably, is the most expensive playing against New Zealand. Aaron Smith is there. So those two guys. Faf, Gibson Park. He's probably a good shout. He'll start for Ireland and is pretty key for them. Um, where else we got? Tate, McDerm Tate McDermott will start. What's their first game? Georgia. I don't know, man. Um, tell you what, scrum half is difficult. It's why I think there's a lot of people will go for DuPont and Smith because you know they're going to start. I think Faf probably starts. Gibson Park will start. I think he's probably quite a good shout. I like DuPont because I think as well he'll play more minutes, won't he? He's not going to be a scrum half that gets hooked after 50. I think he'll play at least over an hour each time. He's like, let's go with DuPont. You've got to select some of the superstars in your team. Let's go with Anton DuPont. At fly half... So Finn Russell and Johnny Sexton, Richie Muanga, Matteo Jalabert are all the most expensive. Uh, Dan Bigger, who's wet? Wales the first game against Fiji? England are playing Argentina. Do you know what? Actually, Carrera, Santiago Carreras, I'm going to go with him. I'm going to go with him. Playing against England, Argentina, I think will back themselves to, to score points. So I'll go with Carreras for now. I want to come back to the centres. I don't know what to go there. Let's launch into the front row, actually. What's with the disrespect to the props, by the way? We were having like 13s for the fly halves and then the props are on like six and a half is the most expensive one. Come on. Okay, so props, I'm thinking scrum dominance, I'm thinking penalties. This way, I think Ty, I think actually looking at this first weekend, who are the most expensive ones? You've got Kitsoff, they play Scotland, Malherb. So it probably will be Kitsoff and Malherb that starts, but you do never know with the spring box. They do like to rotate a little bit. So that's a tricky one. I quite like, I think it's three players, by the way. I should have mentioned this. Three players from each team at this stage you can have. So you can't have more than that. So I've already got Mac Hansen. I'm tempted by Porter and Furlong, you know. Maybe that's putting all my eggs in one basket too much. But in the other games, like, I guess South Africa, you would say, should have the edge on Scotland in the scrum. Who knows between France and New Zealand? That's kind of tough. Cyril Bai is injured. Maybe I'll go, I'll go Furlong. How many points have I got left? 49 points for one, two. God, Jesus, 50 points for nine positions. Okay, so Furlong will go for one. I can't pick Ellis Genge for Argentina. I just haven't seen enough from, from England. Stephen Kitsoff, possibly. Franz Malherb, take a little bit of a... It's not too much of a roll, on, roll of the dice. They're such good players. But who are some of the cheaper options? Actually, I know he's been really good. Interesting that he's pretty low down. Angus Bell has had a really good 2023. I might go with Angus Bell because he's a cheaper option as well. And Aussies against Georgia, mm, tough in terms of the scrum. But let's go with Angus Bell. Hooker's important because of the amount Hooker's score tries. Malcolm Marks would be a great shout. I think he probably does start. Umbanambi tends to come off the bench. Cody Taylor, I don't have any All Blacks in my team yet. Geez, the All Black fans are going to be saying that there's too much disrespect here. I already know one that I'm going to go for. Julian Marchand, he's maybe the guy. I need, I've got one more space for a Frenchman. Quite like Gregory Aldrit. Maybe I'll go Julian Marchand. Does he score enough tries, actually? His try-scoring record, Malcolm Marks does. I swear, Dan, Dan Sheehan. Vaca. All right, let's for now go with Julian Marchand. Into the locks. Actually, no, I want to go back row. Because I know the player that I definitely wanted was Ardi Surveyor. I still haven't picked any South Africans either. What's going on? Right, South Africans then. We can probably spend a bit of cash here. With, I think, Peter Steff. Let's get Peter Steff in. One more loose forward position. Do I go with the Ben Earl? He's had a good start. He's had a, yeah, he has had a, given how bad England have been, he's had a pretty good start to the warm up games. Uh, Australia, I've only got Angus Bell. Rob Valentini will start. He'll be there, number eight. I keep having to remind myself. They play Georgia. I think I do need to spread this around. Matter for. Fiji. God, I'm going to go over this so many times. This is going to change completely between now and the first round. What do I go? Bam, I think Ben Earl's a waste. I'm being, I just don't have any faith in England at the moment. I probably do need to select some English players. So, Surveyor, Detroit, Hamish Watson, I don't know if he's going to start. Sam Kane, no. Jack Morgan, Wales co captain. Point to prove, good at the breakdown, turnover. I've convinced myself. I'm going Jack Morgan. There's some great names I haven't put in there. Olivon, Aldrit. Yeah, there's uh, that. that's pretty tough. I mean, the back row, there's a lot of options. Let's go to the second row. 
So line out, wasn't it? Line out steals was something that they got a lot of points for. Etzebeth surely goes in there then. Let's put Etzebeth in. I've got Detroit. I've got Etzebeth. Okay. Maybe, do you go with a white lock? Do you go with a, oh, I don't know. Scotland have got pretty good second rows. Gilchrist and Gray, and they're both a little bit cheaper. How many points? Oh, gosh. Oh, Jeez, I've got five points left. Okay, this is, this is uh, we're over budget here. I'm going to have to make some amends. So I'm going to have to go for some cheaper options. Let's go Gilchrist, and I'm over budget. So I'm going to have to get rid of, who have I gone too expensive on? I guess DuPont's in there, Ramos, Hansen, Marchand. Right, I'm going to get rid of Marchand. I'm going to remove him. Go back to Hooker. So I'm going to have to go... Oh, hooker's tough because you want someone that starts. Maybe I'm being silly here by not going for maybe the maybe who's who do we think like an Italian or yeah, this is not easy at all. I have not considered my budget early enough in this. So budget of eight, and I've got three positions that I'm going to have to get rid of. Maybe I have to get rid of Thomas Ramos as well. That gives us seventeen point five for four positions. Fullback, I I got Carrera. He doesn't do the kicking, does he? Maybe we need how much is our oh, Buffelli still seven? I mean that saves us a couple of points. Let's go for Buffelli for now. This is this is what you have to do. Just try and work it all out. So we've got ten and a half for three positions. That's slightly better. We're still probably going to have to make a change. Maybe I'll have to go really cheap on who's cheaper centers or oh, they're all pretty expensive. So centers, if I go cheap, let's just have a look at some of the options. Thomas Appleton, maybe I'll give a shout out to the Portuguese man. He like, he's a, he, for those of you that don't know, Thomas Appleton works uh, as like a doctor. I think he works in a hospital in Portugal. Like That's his full-time job. And then he's going to be playing at a World Cup. It's such a good story. Lalakai Fichetti. Yeah, okay, we need to make some. I think I'm going to have, am I going to have to get rid of Antoine Dupont? Oh, he's too good, but he is, I mean, he's 11 points. It's like over 10% of your budget on one player. Maybe I removed DuPont. Let's go scrum half then. And we need someone a little bit cheaper. So we can't go DuPont. How do you get the top you, top players in your team? I'm so di All right, let's go Gibson Park. That saved us a couple of points, and I still think he'll be pretty key. So now we're on 12 and a half. Oh, man, I still think we're going to have to maybe cut someone here. Is it Etzebeth? Do we have to go for a cheaper, a cheaper second row maybe? Okay, so 12 and a half points. We're looking for the cheaper options. But then it's who's starting. This Maybe Theo Dan. He might... No, it's Jamie George. Jamie George will start for England. And he's 10. Jeez. Okay. Um, let's go... Cody Taylor starts. Marchand. All of the players that start are just too expensive. Montoya. That's our pick. That's the one. Montoya's the pick there. Okay, so five, right, we can pick one center, then we're going to have to make a change. We're going to have to go for a real cheap center. Who's, I don't know, I mean, I, with the greatest respect, I don't even know too much about Aki, unfortunately. Five, Malachi Fekatoa. It's a good name. Let's go Fekatoa. So that's it. So we're on zero now with Fekatoa in our centers. We're going to have to, we're going to have to remove, let's say remove Etzebest. We've got four and a half points for two positions. Uh, Adam Coleman, actually, that's quite a good shout. Experienced guy, switched his allegiance over to Tonga. And then, oh, that, and that's, oh, he's real cheap, three and a half points. Then we got five and a half for our final center, which gives us Nakamura. I'm just not as convinced about Japan this year as they have been previously. Where else could we go? So we've got Fekatoa. Oh, I don't know. I think I'm going to have to have a, I'm going to have to have a relook at this, you know. Do you know what? I'm going to just pick someone. And we're going to have to look back through it. Oh, Kevaladze. That would be quite a good one. But then we're a point short. Maybe where could we lose it? I feel, like I, I feel like I haven't spent too much money. All right, let's just go. How, how much do we have again? Five and a half. All right, five and a half. I'm going to just lock in a pick. And then I'm going to rework it. Tell you what, it's not easy. I was thinking that you'd have more scope to get some of the bigger names in. Like I feel in that team... All right, who have I gone for? Furlong's a, biggest, a big name. Surveyor and Detroit. I've spent a fair bit of money in the back row. Gibson Park is relatively expensive. Carrera. There aren't too many players, though, where I've gone for, you know, a Peno, a DuPont. Like, you have to be really selective. I'm going to save that team for now. So that's where we are. Um, make sure you join it. As I say already, I will... Uh, 
put it down below. Hang on. I'll find it in a minute. Here we go. My leagues. Um, so yeah, I'll make sure that I put the code in the description and the link and all that sort of thing. Uh, but Fantasy Rugby, it's a good laugh. Maybe a little bit of content that we'll do throughout the World Cup. Make look, What do you make of my team there? I don't know. I'm not convinced by that. But I was thinking I'll be able to have more kind of big name players in that team. It's actually pretty difficult. So you can let me know. I'm going to rejig it as well. And then, uh, yeah, maybe we can have a discussion uh, later on as we get closer to round one. But make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you join the league. It's called Alfred Reynolds. Very inventive name. And as I say, I will put the uh, put the links and everything in, in the description. It's a nice one. I'll see you in the next one.